In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a new slung payload oscillation suppression system that we're hoping to include in RJ Pilot 4.6. Now, the system requires that the uh, payload itself send the vehicle its position, uh, velocity, and acceleration. So this is all in the simulator today, but on a real vehicle, you would need something like this. So this is a, uh, an autopilot, a cube orange in this case, with a uh, good quality GPS. This is uh, here four, and a little battery, and also a little telemetry radio. So with this all put together, the uh, the payload knows where it is, and it can send that vehicle, sorry, send that information to the vehicle. It's so coming over here to the simulator now. Uh, if you look closely on the bottom, we've got a, a copter, and it is surrounded by a little orange circle. That's the blimp icon, and that's how the uh, payload ap appears in the simulator. I've also set up a mission um, where the vehicle you know, takes off to 50 meters, flies a square pattern, and uh, hopefully while it's doing that, you'll see the, the payload move around somewhat wildly, but, but realistically. Then on the second time around, um, the, uh, the square, it'll, it'll stop here, and it will run this uh, script time uh, command and then a payload place command. So during these periods, the script will be active, the Lua script um, will, will become active. That will look at the uh, payload's uh, position and velocity and it will move the vehicle appropriately to try and uh, reduce any oscillation. And um, it also takes account, uh, takes into account um, uh, the wind. So um, you'll see the that there is wind in the simulator and the, the payload when, when it's dangling, dangles a few meters um, you know, to the left of the vehicle. Uh, the script takes that into account as well. So uh, hopefully we'll see that the payload um, is, is placed right very close to the, to the waypoint itself. Okay, so here we are. I will just switch it into auto mode and arm the vehicle. Let's see over here. It's uh, taking off and climbing 10 meters. Uh, the line length is 30 meters, so soon we will see a little message saying that the, there we are, the payload has lifted off the ground. So we're at 40 meters, the vehicle's at 40 meters, now it's at 50 meters. Okay, you can see already that the payload is dangling a little bit left of the vehicle, that's because of the wind. There, now the vehicle's moving off at 10 meters per second. 30 meters is quite a long line. There we go. Uh, there's a five second delay at that first uh, waypoint. There it goes. Now it's off to the second one. Hopefully that, that appears accurate. It should be accurate. Okay, so it's gone once around the square, and uh, now it should hopefully fly up to the north here. Okay, and here, this is where we should see the script going active. There it is. You can see the vehicle is moving towards the payload. And that's what it does to reduce the oscillation. There we go. And now the payload place has started and you can see the vehicle is moving off to the right. You know, the, the waypoint is right here, but the vehicle is actually further to the right of the waypoint. It's trying to get this payload right on there while also reducing the oscillation. So we're down to 38 meters, so it's only eight meters off the track, off the off the ground now, the payload. Getting quite close though. There, 
here we go. So it's landed, you know, if I guess if we compared these latitudes and longitudes, I think we'd find they're very close to the, the waypoint numbers. The, the payload's bouncing a little bit on the ground. The physics aren't perfect. Anyway, the, um, the slung payload uh, has landed and now the mission has uh, um, moved on to the next waypoint because it uh, detected that the payload's weight came off and now the vehicle is flying home. Simulator does not include uh, the ability to drop the payload, so it's bringing the payload home with it. In any case, uh, it seems to be working. Um, like I said, we're hoping to include this in 4.6. Uh, there's a few more enhancements and fixes that we need to do before then, but uh, hopefully this will be useful.